this shoe was $180 yesterday. But what is it today? I just checked men's and women's sizes. Uh Here we go, here we go, diving right in today in the studio for my first impressions of the Adidas Ultra Boost PB. All right, who's a Boost fan out there? Let me know down in the comments, are you a fan of the Boost midsole lineup? All right, and let me just grab it right here off the shelf. So I must say, kind of like uh, uh, Asics earlier in 2019, um, even this year, I would say like, Maybe a little bit of Saucony, but I just haven't had a lot of time in the Adidas, Adidas running shoe lineup, which will connect to the question of the day here in a minute. So here's the Adidas Audios 4, and listen, I've got nothing against Adidas, uh, but for some reason it just has not worked its way, uh, the company has not worked its way into my running shoe rotation, and I wish I would have kept it, Ah, but I had the Ultra Boost 19, or was it the 18? Oh man, anyway from like 18 months ago, maybe 24 months ago, no, about 18 months ago, and I wish I would have kept it so I could compare the differences between the Ultra Boost PB and the 18 or 19. And as I was pulling the shoe out of the box, I was thinking to myself, okay, remember the running shoe rotation that we're always talking about, building it up, easy day, tempo day, long run, where will this shoe work into my running shoe rotation and potentially your running shoe rotation, all right? And uh, I do have an answer for you. I'll get that to you in a minute. Uh, but coming out of the box, I must say, I didn't know. Uh, but by the end of the run, I think I'm dialed in as to where this will fit into that rotation. Okay, today's run, 10 mile. Okay, I'm still recovering from the 23 miler on Wednesday. It was a doozy. Still got some doms going on, that delayed onset muscle soreness. We're working through it. And therefore, took it easy in this shoe, 850 a mile for 10 miles in the Ultra Boost PB in the, I will say, ice, snow, mud, and the Continental Rubber, all right? So Adidas has a partnership with the Continental Tire Company uh, somehow. I don't know all the, I don't know the details, but I think it's amazing how they partner. And so they've got this Continental Rubber on the outsole, which did great in those conditions out there. Now let's dive into a few stats. 10 millimeter drop, okay? So pretty high on the daily, daily trainer scale. 22, oh, oh, 22 millimeter stack height in the heel, 12 millimeter in the forefoot. Uh, and that is a pretty, so that falls into the low category for midsole stack heights. Fascinating. I haven't really trained that much in stack heights that is that low. I'm trying to think if the Skechers Horizon Vanish falls into that category. It's close. Uh, but anyway, so 22 and 12 for that stack height. For men's size 9, we're looking at 10.5 ounces. And there it is on your screen in grams. And then for women's size 8, we're looking at 9 point seven ounces and once again there it is on your screen in grams and then on the scale for my size you see it there on the scale so a little heavier uh yeah a little heavier for let's say a typical daily trainer all right um and i'll get to that back to that weight here in a minute and moving on to that brand new upper on the ultra boost pb very exciting as far as the breathability it's called seller mesh there it is on your screen I wish it was summertime, I wish it was hot out, because I think this shoe would do great in hot conditions. However, if you live in an area with a lot of rain, my feet did get very soaking wet today, very wet today. So uh, if you don't like your feet getting wet, just keep that in mind, it did not keep any water out today. Uh, for that heel counter, so do you recognize this heel counter? It, it's very, very reminiscent, where is it? Oh man, do I have it out here? Well, it's very reminiscent of the New Balance Beacon V2, the New Balance 1080 V10, even the New Balance, or sorry, the Nike Vomero 14. So it has that flare, and I must say it treated my blisters very well today. So it has that flare, but it is very nimble. Look at that, can collapse very easily. They did add some, I'm gonna call them roll bars, these plastic roll bars on either side of the heel counter. It helps a little bit. I'll come back to the heel counter here in a minute, but uh, overall, I will say one little drawback for the upper is that the, I think there's too much material through the vamp and the toe box. So the side of the shoe right here, that vamp, it's just uh, a little too much material, a little too loosey-goosey 
for my liking. Um, and for that tongue, it is a gusseted tongue. Oh yeah, we love those gusseted tongues. All right, so the tongue was amazing. And they did add a little extra padding at the top of the tongue just to get a nice lockdown feel on the top of your foot. And again, I'll come back to the collar here in a minute. Moving on to that boost midsole, let's do the twist test here. Pretty loosey-goosey, definitely neutral. Oh yeah, a very, very neutral running shoe, absolutely. Uh, it's a TPU midsole, uh, midsole material. And I will say, and again, this goes back, if you are an Adidas fan, let me know down in the comments because I struggle just a little bit with boost midsoles. I uh, just like even doing the, the compression test with my thumb out there running, I, okay, it feels a little mushy. That's the word that comes to mind when I'm out there running, just a little mushy. I will say though, that for the, as far as protection from the pavement and the pounding, for that amount of stack height, which is pretty low, 22 and 12, that's pretty low on the, on the scale, you do get pretty good protection. Like I didn't feel like I was pounding into the pavement at all today, uh, but it didn't feel uh, res really responsive in my books, uh, or s definitely not snappy, responsive, or, or snappy. Did I already say that? Snappy. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the midsole. And moving on to the outsole, again, that continental rubber that we already talked about, and they did add a foot bridge, but let's do another, let's, instead of the twist test, let's do the bend test. Look at this, everybody. Whoa, that shoe, okay, so this shoe is very, very nimble through the midsole, through the outsole. There's not much structure to the overall shoe. So without that foot bridge, so I'm glad that foot bridge is there through that midfoot in the outsole. For my positives and drawbacks. So for the positive, I'll go with the outsole rubber getting good uh, tacky feel on the, on the pavement. So I could see this uh, outsole rubber doing really well in wet conditions. Now, for the drawbacks, oh boy, there's sadly everyone, a lot of them. Um, my heel was slipping, so heel slipping, not good. Again, toes were swimming way too much through the toe box. Uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, the mushy feel through the midsole. And for the weight, it just uh, for a daily trainer and or for let's say the potential that it could be a tempo day shoe, like it's just a little too heavy for that for my liking. Now for a durability prediction, I'm gonna say that this shoe could go the distance. I'm gonna say at least 450 or 500 miles. Again, it's just a prediction, but based on the outsole, and I do think even though I'm not loving the midsole, I think that the midsole will be resilient. Like I don't think it's gonna break down too, too quickly. So that is good. I think you could get a lot of miles and kilometers out there in the streets wherever you might live. Now, how will I use this shoe moving forward or who is this shoe best for? Listen, everyone, I'm not. In fact, I, I it breaks my heart. It's over. It's over. At mile two, I almost turned around because I was not, uh, the fit was not right. It just did. It wasn't feeling good out there. I almost turned around and came back, but I must say, by the end of the run, I was enjoying the ride a little bit better, but overall the upper is just a little too a little too loosey goosey. Maybe I'm too used to Asics by now, where I have a nice, nice lockdown through that heel. Uh, where's an Asics? Let me just grab this glide ride. Like the pocket. We're always I'm always talking about the pocket in the Asics heel counter. So your heel is just like really locked into that pocket. Uh, just like your shooting pool, like a, a good pocket in there. All right, everyone, that is not happening in the Ultra Boost PB, sadly. Now, who is this shoe potentially good for? Someone, all right, all right. I know there's Adidas fans out there, but someone who loves the Boost midsole and is looking for um, an upper that is way more breathable than the other Ultra Boost shoes out there, okay? This upper, again, very breathable. I like it a lot, but it's just not quite, uh, it's just not doing it for me, okay? But again, if you like the Boost midsole, this could work for you. And here's what's exciting, everyone, the price point. And I don't know what just happened. I think yesterday on Running Warehouse, this shoe was $180 yesterday. But what is it today? I just checked men's and women's sizes, $116. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's everything happening around the world with the coronavirus. Maybe it's uh, maybe they realize maybe they realize like they ordered too many. I don't know what's going on. 
But at that price point, I would say the shoe is much more um, uh, attractive to me, okay? But $180. No way, Jose. Don't buy it for $180. $116, that's not too, too bad, all right? And on to that question of the day, Adidas fans, come on now. Come on now. Rally. I know you're out there. Let us know down in the comments, what is your favorite Adidas shoe right now or from the last, let's say, 18 months, okay? And explain why. Again, I would love to give Adidas more opportunities to work their way into the running shoe rotation, but right now I am I'm, I am struggling, and I need your help. I need your help, Adidas fans, okay? So that's the question of the day. Shine down below. Thanks for being here on a Saturday. Now I guess it's Sunday when you're watching this. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you had a great weekend. We'll be back tomorrow and rocking and rolling, all right, all right. Stay safe out there, watch out for each other, and uh, onward and upward. All right, we'll toss it back to, we'll go way back. We'll go way back to the Audios 4. Uh, I know I made a vlog about this shoe from 2019, way back to the Audios 4. That'll be right there, check it out, check it out. All right, everyone, thanks for being here, thanks for watching, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.